one for us and for that what we will do we will try to identify so very first mental process comes is identification we will try to identify the letters which are used and we will try to see it and we will try to pronounce it in our inner speech secondly after immediately after identification because of our previous knowledge of words and because of the previous contextual knowledge we will try to understand we will try to get understanding of those words because it will provide us a kind of uh, clue because of the previous experiences because we are made up of experiences we are made up of thoughts we are what we think and uh, we are with the previous knowledge of all this so ultimately we shall try to connect the meaning of new word in the context of our previous knowledge and that will keep us little bit near to the meaning of the word perhaps might be right after that understanding we will try to retain the word in our memory we will keep somewhere the word in the memory but the context will help us to get the meaning if we can't get from the context we have to keep some efforts what are they that i we shall discuss afterwards but first of all identification after identification we'll try to understand the meaning or we'll try to guess the meaning of the word through the context or through the previous knowledge or our experience range and after that we'll try to retain the word in the mind what what happens afterwards see knowing a new word is just starting of uh vocabulary development so very first thing is identification just knowing a new word but the ultimate uh aim of learning a new vocabulary item is nothing but the production and so what happens in the mental process very first thing identification then understanding of a new word then retention and after that what comes is analysis when we want to produce a new word we try to make out we try to analyze the words which we have already within us so we'll try to analyze that which word is proper for my use right now so we will try to analyze the data which is there in our mind data of what data of words we have various words in our mind so in from our memory we try to analyze the memory and we try to find out the appropriate word and afterwards when we'll get appropriate word we we shall try to make synthesis of the word with the new concept and at last we shall try to produce our language so this is how when we learn and when we produce a new word this mental process goes on every time again identification understanding retention then analysis synthesis and production so this is how we learn a new lang new word now again the question comes that we know all this we know why we are here we know that we want to learn new vocabulary items and we want to enrich our vocabulary but the major thing which we can't do is the practice how can i develop my vocabulary how can i come closer to new terms how can i uh, shape my vocabulary items or how can i use my vocabulary my words in various areas see here i would like to say about 
other two processes. Sometimes it happens, it happens with me and you also that we, we, we listen to a, passage, a speaker, we read a passage or we read a book and we say that we have understood everything. If someone asks us, okay, have you, have you uh, gone through the passage? You will say, yes, I have gone through the passage. Have you understood the um, passage? We will say, the, yeah, yes, uh, we have understood the passage. And uh, if, if they say, we even can share the views or the content which, is, which we have read. But if two or three terms out of, the, out of that passage is asked to be uh, explained, then perhaps we not be able to, we are not able to uh, give answer of it. We cannot interpret those terms, particular terms, the words. What happens here? Why, why can we understand uh, the content of the passage and why, why can't we give answer to this question of the interpretation of a particular word? What happens? Similarly, the words which we have understood from the passage, if we will sit to write the same passage, perhaps we, we will not use those vocabulary items which were used in that passage. Why? What is the reason? See, every individual has two types of vocabulary items. One is active vocabulary, another is passive vocabulary. Passive vocabulary has to deal with the receptive skills. Again, we shall try to remember the four basic skills of language learning that is listening, speaking, reading and writing. Out of this, two are receptive skills that is listening and reading. While listening and reading, we are using our passive vocabulary power. But for the rest two skills which are productive, we have to use our active vocabulary. Now, learning a vocabulary or developing a vocabulary is nothing but to develop our active vocabulary, not the passive one. No doubt, passive vocabulary development will be a part of it. It will be a basic, um, basic aspect of it, right? But if you want to develop your vocabulary, I you have to develop your passive vocabulary, sorry, active vocabulary. So, if we want to develop our active vocabulary, you will be uh, at the prime of the production of language. So, what to do? What techniques can be used? Some techniques, very first technique is we have to love words. We should love words. We should, uh, we should try to uh, know everything about the word. The root of the word, it is a fascinating word. If you will go to the dictionaries and all, you will find the root, uh, the, 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 the journey of a word from where it has, uh, it has come and uh, till today. So, this is how. We should love word and when you will start loving word, you will try to use it in a various roles. You will like to uh, see the word in various roles and that is why you will make changes in its usage also. So, this is how very first thing we should start loving words. Then, Various techniques. Try to look for new words always. Once you will fall in love with words, you will definitely try to find out new words. Everywhere around you, you will try to get new words. Then, the next is, we should try to read 
more and more reading again i would like to uh, remind you that we are supposed to develop our passive vocabulary if we'll develop our passive vocabulary we'll be able to make it out somewhere sometime it is to be added into our active vocabulary list so we should try reading then listening listening to speakers listening to the radio listening to various medias and through that we'll be able to locate various new vocabulary items and again if you are in love with words definitely new words will attract it may be in reading may be through listening and then find english speaking friends it is very essential language is a social skill and for that we need to have good speakers around us and for that try to keep company of such people who use english terms or the new language so this is how through reading through listening through our friends we can get new vocabulary items and we can enrich our active vocabulary list then use various resources see on your screen you can see this is just a sample there are lots of books writ written about the vocabulary we can use these various resources and we can enrich our language but what do we do generally see we don't take interest or we are not confident and that's why what happens that we know that the book is there in my desk we shall not open it and if we will not open it we will not be able to get new vocabulary items and so it is very essential that we should know the resources and we should try to use all these resources through which we can go to the depth of the word and we can enjoy the beauty of the word next dictionaries from the very beginning we are told by our elders also that if you want to learn english you should have your own dictionary you should use dictionaries and we know that dictionaries has uh, nowadays various forms synonyms antonyms thesaurus encyclopedias and nowadays we do have e dictionaries also online dictionaries and because of the technology it is now very easy to access words on with the use of technology with the use of this e dictionaries online dictionaries we know that we can get the root of the word we can get the journey we can we can get knowledge of the journey of the words and we even we can get the stress pattern of the word and we can have the pronunciation also so this is how this dictionaries has a very vital role in learning a new vocabulary item we should have our own dictionary and always it should be a ready reckoner to us whenever we get a new term we should try to refer the dictionary we should see the synonyms of it we should see the actual role of it and this is how we should be able to get the correct meaning of the particular word and not only that in the thesaurus we will find a variety of meanings of a particular term so this is how we should try to use dictionaries then contextual learning as we said earlier language is a social phenomenon it is a social skill and we should try to develop language through our social context 
what can we do think about a context and list related words see say for example take uh, the context of school and the probable vocabulary items will definitely come to you and to build up your confidence what you have to do is you go to simple to complex never directly go to the complex uh, situation right complex con complex or unknown context start from a known context so school is very known to us so first of all think about a context and list related words then put yourself in various situations and try to speak or try to use various words see we we are afraid of doing this we are familiar to the situation and will be there always with uh, the situation but a language learner has to go out of the box has to go out of the box and to put himself in uh, in 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 a suffocating situation when you get suffocated you will try to find out the way to come out and here where are you suffocating you are not having words to speak we are not you are not having words to express your views and that's why in a the, in this particular context you will feel yourself suffocating and once you will get suffocated you will try to think ways to come out and you will learn a new vocabulary item so in contextual teaching or contextual learning you should put yourself in various situation where you can speak you can produce you can use new vocabulary items thirdly listen to various people using language in various context see when we go to a new situation when we put ourselves into new situation we meet new people we listen new vocabulary uh, items we listen new vocabulary and new language usages and this is how through imitation we can enrich our language so the people who want to develop vocabulary they have